Hi there. Scrolling by in the right hand side are all the equations we're expected to be able to use by the end of National 5 Physics. Now if you're actually studying higher, then don't panic. This video is useful for you too. Just keep watching. Let's say you're answering a question where you're told that the current in a circuit is 2 milliamps and you have to calculate the charge transferred after 5 minutes. Which equation should you be using? Well, it's actually this one. Maybe you already knew that. Your life's made an awful lot easier because you're given a sheet with all the equations on it. See, in my day, we had to remember them. I really am that old. But you still have to remember that Q is charge, I is current, and T is time. You'll also need to be able to convert milliamps to amps and time from minutes to seconds, and that the final answer for charge should be in coulombs. If only there was a sheet with all this information on. Oh, wait, there is. Available on my website, you'll find this file. And yes, there is a higher physics version. It'll basically tell you what all the letters in the equation stand for and the correct units to use for each quantity. Now, you'll not be given this sheet in the exam, so you'll need to download it and spend some time studying it. Maybe use it when you're trying past paper questions or even homeworks. You can see that some letters are used more than once, like capital A here, which is either activity or area. To clear things up, just look at the bottom of the back page and you'll see the equations where these quantities are used. So no more confusion. I know what you're thinking now. What's the address of your website again? Well, for more information on upcoming videos, summary sheets and so on, visit, this is it, <laughs> it's coming up now, physics-podcast.co.uk. Thank you for listening.